I think we can just talk our way through this next one. Basically, the question asks if you understand the difference between paired and unpaired data analysis. We cover this very much so in the lecture. If our observations are paired, then we're going to do a paired t-test. And if our observations come from groups that are naturally assumed to be independent, then it's going to be an independent group t-test. And I just want to comment that if your data are paired and you treat them as if they are independent, then you're going to potentially get very incorrect conclusions, very inc a, a, a very incorrect interval. On the other hand, if you do a paired interval when you're in fact your groups are independent, then that's just unreasonably incorrect. That's so incorrect there's no, um, you know, you can't even you can't even plead ignorance in that setting. Okay, so um, the probably the most common mistake is to treat paired data as if it's independent, and the most common consequence of doing that it depends a little bit on the circumstance, but the most common consequence of that is that variability that's explained by the pairing has been left in the interval and you're getting an interval that tends to be wider than what you would expect to get otherwise. So that's the consequence of that. You're, you're, you're pretending like you have uncertainty that you don't have, which is uh, unfortunate because you get a wider, less precise interval. Okay, so let's um, do that and then we get our checkpoint.